And there are reports this morning that uh, the shadow cabinet is bracing itself for a reshuffle after a number of Labour's front benches <coughs> voted in favour of airstrikes in Syria. Despite winning the Oldham by-election, it's been uh, a challenging week for the party. Calls for unity have come hand in hand for some with a barrage of online abuse. Well, I'm joined now by one of Momentum's organisers, Adam Clug. Very good to see you, Mr Clug. T- tell me, first of all, a lot of people might not know what, what Momentum is. Are you a party within a party? Um, hi, thank you. Um, no, Momentum is uh, trying to build a grassroots social movement to channel the energy and enthusiasm uh, over the summer for the election of Jeremy Corbyn as Labour leader and try and harness that into building something positive, progressive and inclusive where voices outside of Westminster are heard and where people in, can organise on issues which affect them in their local areas. And but you're all, you're all Labour party, party members and only Labour Party members. Everybody who has a position within Momentum is a Labour Party member. And but only a Labour Party and member. And cannot be a member of another political party, yes, absolutely cannot. Um, and also at meetings, uh, it, the governance structure is still being sort of established to be completely clear with all the terminology, but absolutely no members of other political parties are welcome at Momentum meetings. If you're not a member of a political party, um, or if you're a member of the Labour Party, then your voice is welcomed and heard. But we absolutely do not... Uh, the Socialist Party, for example, are not welcome to be at Momentum meetings. Um, or Communist and, Party of Great Britain. Members, exactly, like no. OK, well, you know the charge. You must have heard it often by now, that you are in some uh, way, shape or form, how shall I term it, the, uh, the online, in particular, Praetorian Guard of Jeremy Corbyn, that you are there to, to police, protect and punish those that to disagree with your views. Um, I think that's uh, a misunderstanding of <laughs> what Momentum are, are doing. And I think if you, go, if you meet anyone who's been involved in Momentum or... Um, go to any Momentum events. There's a positive, inclusive atmosphere whereby people are having their voice heard. Um, and for example, on the Syria situation, um, there was a talk, Momentum provided a tool whereby supporters could lobby their MPs on the issue if they felt they felt inclined to do so. And over 30,000 people did so. If a very, very small number of people behaved in a, a manner of you know, trolling or which has been so-called bullying or harassing, obviously I and Momentum would absolutely condemn that 100%. And what do you um, do about it? I mean, because you, you mentioned that Syria vote, I was going to get on to, to that in full. I mean, you've got a list, haven't you? A list of 66 Labour MPs who voted in favour of a bombing campaign. And uh, I don't know if they're Momentum supporters or what, but an awful lot of them, we had one of them, Chris Bryant, in, uh, are getting some really serious abuse. Well, I think, um, oh, as I say, obviously people conducting themselves in a manner which isn't in accordance with Jeremy Corbyn and his way of doing politics, I would not condone uh, at all. Um, But overwhelmingly, people just wanted to have their voice heard. We live in a democracy whereby individual citizens, party members, constituents were lobbying their MPs to speak about their views on an issue which I think was deeply... I think it was a very ill-thought-through and divisive move to to be going for airstrikes in Syria. Um, I think... We should be focusing on diplomatic efforts. We should be looking at um, where ISIS get their arms, where they get their money. These are the sorts of issues we should be But these 66 on. MPs, you'd like to see them stay within the Labour Party at the next election. You don't want them deselected. It's not, the role of momentum is not to be campaigning on the selection or deselection of, of MPs. That is for constituency Labour parties. Um, so that, that's not the purpose of momentum. Momentum is people coming together organising on issues which affect them. We've already had Democracy SOS, which was a campaign uh, to raise the issue of individual electoral registration, whereby nearly two million people will drop off the electoral register. So there's been people going out in um, communities uh, and having conversations with people about these changes, which many people aren't aware of, to ensure that their voices are heard and they don't drop off the register. Similarly, we've been opposing George Osborne's cuts to tax credits, or the work penalty, as we were referring to it as, was people... Recorded. So the whole Labour Party. But, you know, I just, just need to ask sure. you about, yeah, about, about the issue of the, of the front bench, about the shadow cabinet. Would you, Momentum, not prefer it if Jeremy Corbyn had more people sitting there who agree with him? Um, I don't think it's Momentum's role to be making decisions about who... about the makeup of the shadow cabinet. That's down to Jeremy Corbyn, the leader. Um, so that's not an issue... 
Which but people are saying he's strengthened after that showing in the Oldham by-election, that he could now say to some of those people sitting on the front bench, I don't want you here anymore, and the party wouldn't go into revolt. Would you like to see that? Um, what I'd like to see is what happened last Saturday in Oldham, whereby Momentum helped mobilise 200 of its supporters to come up and uh, campaign for the fantastic candidate, um, Jim McMahon, who was very, very welcoming. Him and his team were very welcoming of uh, Momentum. Uh, there were coaches that came from Leeds, yeah. Bradford, Birmingham, uh, London, um, Sheffield. And there was a social in the evening where Jim McMahon All came, right. he spoke. He said he was overwhelmed by the support from and Momentum. And you may well have had an effect on the, on the scale of that result. But you're happy, let's just be explicit about this, you're happy with Maria Eagle staying in the, the shadow cabinet, with Hilary Benn remaining there. It's really not my role to be talking about, as I said, the makeup of the shadow cabinet. I think the role of momentum but you, is but to you, try and... But, you know, you're, like, you directly oppose their policy when it comes to things like airstrikes. I, I, as I say, I personally did oppose that policy. Um, that vote has now gone through. I'm very, very disappointed about the outcome of it. But I think on that vote, Jeremy but, Corbyn... But people actually, like that, people like, it's a broad church, people like that should stay on the front bench representing the, the Labour Party. As I say, it's not my call to, to make that comment, but I think what that vote showed on Syria was that actually Jeremy Corbyn, the party is far more unified and united than it is sometimes presented as in the media. Um, Jeremy Corbyn had, um, I think, 75% of members who responded said they were opposed to airstrikes, which was his position. I believe 66% of MPs. Um, back to his position, and, and that wasn't okay. seen to be the case all along, so I think he showed real leadership. And similarly, the majority of the shadow cabinets also um, supported Jeremy's Indeed. position. Okay, Mr. Clark, very good seeing you. Thank you Thank very you much, Ian.